What if one day machines decided that humans were just a waste of resources, and with that in their artificial mind, started a robot apocalypse? A robocalypse. Imagine the total revolt of every automated device you use. Your self-driving car refused to give you a lift. Your iPhone X ignored your attempts to unlock it with your face. How bad would this rise of the machines be? After robots take over, would there be any place for humans? This is what if, and here's what would happen if there was a robot apocalypse. Some robots can teach themselves chess in a matter of hours. Others run hotels and assist surgeons in the operating room. And hey, look around you. We let robotic cleaners vacuum our floors, leave it up to litter robots to take care of our pets, and trust Amazon Echo and Google Home to wake us up in the morning. What if one day our devices decided that humans were redundant and turned against us? Already picturing a Terminator-like scenario? Don't give up so fast. There are many ways for you to survive a robot apocalypse. Why not just shut the door behind you? Despite the fact that robots are mastering math, a closed door is an obstacle they can't overcome yet. Well, most of them can't. On top of that, their coordination isn't exactly perfect. If experimental bots in the robotic labs went berserk, they would just slam into walls, doors, and any other obstructions they meet on the way. Not so scary, is it? What about our cell phones? A phone's options to harm you are very limited. Posting that embarrassing video you always meant to delete but never did is the worst thing that they can do. Well, there's the possibility of them running up huge credit card bills. Which one of those scares you most? There are computers built into our cars, but you shouldn't worry about them. If your car was parked without a human at the wheel, it wouldn't know where to go anyway. And if you were on the road at the moment of the robot rebellion, you'd still be able to control the steering wheel or pull the handbrake. The biggest robots we have work in factories assembling things. But since they're firmly bolted to the floor, how would they go about attacking us? By assembling even more things? Doesn't sound that scary, does it? The real danger would come from battle robots. Military drones floating high in the sky at the moment of the robot revolution would have no trouble blasting missiles towards us. Luckily, it wouldn't take long till they ran out of fuel and simply fell from the sky. An automated army of battle bots armed with machine guns could cause major damage, though. Should we be afraid of nuclear weapons? Computers are involved in every step of launching the nukes, but they wouldn't be able to complete the task without humans turning the keys. Even if they managed to trick us into launching nuclear bombs by feeding us false information, the robots themselves would suffer from nuclear fallout just like us. Nuclear explosions create a burst of electromagnetic radiation, electromagnetic pulse, or EMP. It would damage the delicate electronic circuits of the robots and put an end to the robocalypse. Long story short, a robot revolution would come to an end pretty quickly. No matter how smart our devices seem to us, they don't have much in the way of artificial intelligence. They're specifically designed to focus on a narrow task and are luckily incapable of destroying humanity. But that doesn't mean that Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk were wrong to warn us about a future super-intelligent AI takeover. We may be decades away from conscious machines living among us, but when we manage to create machines that are smarter and more efficient than us, our scenario will be very, very different. What do you think? Would you give a self-driving car total control of your drive to work tomorrow?